Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. First article of interest for today. Parliamentary Finance reveals an unprecedented deficit in the 2020 budget. The Parliamentary Finance Committee revealed, on Saturday, a unprecedented deficit in the country's general budget for the current year 2020, noting that it is estimated at 69 trillion Iraqi dinars. Member of the committee, MP Hanin al Kato told Shafak News that the cabinet is working to address the financial crisis and reduce the deficit rate in the public budget for the year 2020 after it has become estimated at 69 trillion dinars. He added that the budget for the current year will be operational and semi annual and different from the budgets of previous years, noting that the operational budget will focus on securing the salaries of employees, retirees social welfare and ration card items. And the example, that, the percentage of the deficit in the public budget will exceed 75 trillion dinars, if oil prices fall to the lowest level in the coming period. Members of the Parliamentary Finance Committee confirm, through previous statements to Shafak News, that the federal budget for the current year 2020 will be discussed and approved in Parliament after Eid al-Fitr. The price of a barrel of oil has decreased since the outbreak of the coronavirus, which led to fears of the effect of the decrease in lack of revenues on the Iraq budget for 2020 and affected the operational budget and salaries of government employees and retirees. It is noteworthy that sending the federal budget by the government to the Iraqi parliament has been delayed due to the continuous protests since last October which led to the resignation of the previous government headed by Adel Abdul Mahdi and its transformation into a caretaker government that is not empowered to send the draft budget budget to the parliament. Next article of interest. An Iraqi bank provides employees with electronic cards that allow them to shop in it. The Rafa Dane State Bank said on Saturday that the electronic card is known as the MasterCard which allows the employee working in the public sector to shop in it from alls as well as receiving monthly salaries. The media office of the bank said in a statement today that the salaries of a number of employees of ministries and state institutions have been localized, given an electronic card and received their monthly salaries through them. The statement added that Masters of Card holders can take advantage of the financial features and services recently launched by the bank and benefit from that card in shopping and purchasing from other places in commercial centers. Next article of interest. After talking about a similar agreement with Turkey, a representative committee, the Chinese agreement is still in place. Member of the Committee for Monitoring the Government Program, MP Mohammed al-Baldawi, stressed on Saturday that the Chinese agreement is still in place and that any other agreement concluded by the government in the future cannot be considered abandoning the economic agreement with reputation, indicating that his committee focused on the government through its review of the government program to move forward with the agreement Chinese. Al Dawi said in a statement to information that the leaks that indicate the Turkish president's visit to Baghdad soon and the conclusion of an expanded economic agreement with Iraq, exchange for oil is a good thing and the government can conclude many economic agreements in this manner with the largest number of countries, especially countries neighboring Iraq. He added that those leaks by concluding an agreement with Ankara does not mean that we will abandon the agreement with the People's Republic of China because it has gone ahead and put in its fund funds during the last period, noting that the current government cannot abandon China's capabilities in the field of investment in all economic fields because it has very great potentials in all economic sectors that Iraq needs. Al we pointed out that the Government Program Monitoring Committee focused during its study of the Government Program of al Qasmi's government which was submitted to the government by the House of Representatives and included a number of recommendations, including a focus on advancing the Iraqi-Chinese agreement. Next article of interest. Staff Salaries. The provincial government is forced to hand over oil revenues to Baghdad. Deputy of the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, Sherwan Mirza, revealed, on Saturday, 
the intention of the Kurdish delegation to return to Baghdad in order to negotiate the delivery of the region's oil revenues to Baghdad in exchange for the payment of salaries. Mirza said in a statement that the recent discussions between the Kurdistan regional government and the federal government on the oil and budget files were positive and several proposals were submitted to the federal prime minister. He added, there is a good intention on both sides to address the oil and budget files, and I believe that they will soon reach a joint agreement to address the outstanding problems. He explained. The Kurdistan regional government confirmed its willingness to hand over oil and negotiate internal imports, and the federal government did not refuse to support and support the Kurdistan region, as oil prices have witnessed a good rise and all of these things are showing a real intention to address the problems. Next article of interest. America, we have a supernatural missile project. U.S. President Donald Trump has revealed that his country is implementing a super missile capable of flying at speeds that exceed 17 times the speed of sound. Space will be the future, whether in terms of defense or attack and many other things. We are now the astronaut, Trump said, according to U.S. media. We are building amazing military equipment on a level never seen before, he said describing the missile being developed as the fastest in the world and that would surpass China and Russia. We are now developing unimaginable military equipment and reaching a level never seen before. We have no other choice with the opponents we face abroad. And Trump said, we have what I describe as a super missile. Last night I was told that it is 17 times faster than they have it now, at the Pentagon meaning if we compare it with the fastest missile that we have at the moment. You have heard that Russia has five times faster than the sound of missiles, and China is working to achieve a speed that exceeds the speed of sound five or six times. We have a missile project 17 times faster, and it was approved just before, he said. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Save the link to my new channel on the library platform in case this channel gets compromised and check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now. The Denarian.